That's okay right there. Indonesia, but now I'm in sunny California, Orange County, Dana Point. And this is where I grew up. Um, I went to school in Dana Point High School and we went to Dana Point Harbor a lot growing up. And um, I go back every year for one to two months to visit my family and friends. So now that I'm here, I get to eat a lot and just spend lots of time with my family. Good. Oh yeah, you have to give me directions. I can keep talking and... You keep talking because my video will be on all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, right? okay. Because we okay. have a lot of film. Okay. So, many people ask me how I got into sailing. Later on, I will take you a tour to the Dana Point Harbor where me and an ex-boyfriend took a basic sailing course at um, Saddleback Community College. And that's where my first sailing experience began. But we only took one class before we bought our sailboat in uh, Florida. We took all our belongings in a um, little trailer. And we went to Florida because that's where the boats were cheapest. And within a year and a half, we bought our sailing boat, a 33 and a half uh, foot sailing catamaran, Gemini 105 MCs. It's um, one of the smallest most affordable uh, manufactured uh, catamarans you can buy, uh, Gemini. So we got, went to Florida, we bought our boat, and that's when I started sailing in the Caribbean, the Thorny Passage. So that's where I got my start, Dana Point Harbor. I want you to sit down right there. Okay. Oh, that one. No, no, the big one, big one. Oh, okay. Can you do that? Yeah, that's nice. Okay, keep talking. Hold on. Let me think, what should I talk about? I don't know. <laughs> oh, keep talking? Yeah. So, I never do what I wanted to do with my life. I always wanted to travel, just to travel. And uh, my mom took me to Europe when I was 13. I was either 13 or 14. Um, because in English, we always um, had castles in our class. And I, I would always look up and want to go to Europe to look at the castles. So when I turned 13, my mom took me to Europe where I had the best time I was um, exposed to history. I, I was always just 
um, art history, especially art, architecture, and travel. I always read a lot. I read maybe five to ten books per weekend, and I would always be reading. Ever since I could remember, I'd be reading two or three books. Romance books, travel books. So when you're reading, it transports you to a whole new world. So my imagination was always very big. I would always pretend I was someone else, be somewhere else, travel. So I always, for some reason, never felt that I wanted to. Even like California is a great place to grow up. But I always felt that I needed to see the world and um, that there was something bigger out there for me to see. So I always wanted to travel and going to college, I never liked college. I was a really bad student. I got F's and F's and I was a seven year college. I didn't even get my degree at first. And I was very expensive to my parents. So I always wanted to travel. Okay. It's a lot of talking. Picture, picture. Oh, okay. Now I think the way you write there, nice picture. Oh, okay. okay. Picture. Keep moving around. Huh? Move around? Yeah. Move your leg down, out. Oh, okay. Now I just need different. Picture. picture. This is a picture. Oh, picture. Yeah. Are you snapping or how, how is it? Snapping. Oh, okay. Hello. Uh, Okay. Nice, nice. I like it. <laughs> it's a really good background. Yeah. Okay. 